Hello everyone, and welcome again to another one of my tutorial guides for school girls. Today, we'll be doing Kalia, their absolute rushdown character. This character is actually, well, in my opinion, is very powerful because at certain instances she just crosses up for no apparent reason. I mean, I'm doing a terrible example, but it can happen. Well, as usual, let's go over her normals first. I normally go mainly go over normals because they have range, if they have range, but if you notice, most of Aliyah's normal attacks really don't have a lot of range in them. They're not like Parasol, who has like ridiculous range, or Painwheel and Cerebello, who have ridiculous crouching light kicks. But each one of her moves serve a purpose. For starters, the Light Punch is good for hit confirming, since you can do it twice. Not to mention the fact that because his hit stun is so little, it's good for checking for a throw. Even if you do it twice. Wait, hold up, I did that wrong. There we go. The Light Kick. The throw timing for that's a little off. No place to run. It's not as quick. Whereas this is like what whereas this is like like that. This that's how far that's how long it takes for the axe to be able to throw. So if you're gonna do a throw check, do light punch rather than light kick. Although with light kick, you can actually go a low. Or high. But other than that, it's not really all that great. The medium punch seems to have far more range. It's not really good for a range attack. I mean, you still can. It's just not that great. This. This thing is terrible. This medium kick. It's only good for combos. I've never seen it used for anything else. And of course, her high punch, which has very little horizontal range, but its vertical range is amazing. If you're, in a, if you're ever in a situation when your assist is being comboed by your opponent, and your opponent does a launcher on them, and hops in the air and continues on an air combo, Rather than jumping up there to hit, it's much safer just to do that. Too bad I can't show you an example because I don't have any assists. Oh well. This move. Okay, think about this move. This high kick. It's very slow. So before she actually does the initial attack, she can be hit out of this. But the thing is, if pushes her back for a bit. As you see, she leaps back a bit before she goes forward. As also the fact that she kicks off the ground, making it so that she goes over most low attacks. Most. Some may still hit her. Her crouching normals. As you see, the crouching light punch serves the same purpose. But the thing about the crouching light punch, I see this used a little bit too much. It's good for like checking if you're actually hit for hit confirming. Make sure you're actually hitting your opponent and not blocking. But the one problem with this is the fact it's not a low. Felias that I faced online who do this, they hit. I'm blocking high at that point in time. And so when I see them do this, I'm like, okay, it's time to block low. Because I know after that, they're going to do her actual low. Her actual low is her crouching light kick. Do this if you want to go low first, rather than this. Her other move, that's her, that's her other launcher. Again, something not that great. It's pretty much only good for combos really difficult combos. I mean, I don't get them consistently. 
I don't even trust. Seriously. Yeah, I, I suck. <laughs> oh, well. Other attacks is a crouching medium kick. This thing is amazing. It's really, really good. Whereas, if you do a combo... See, that only works in the corner. See, if I don't... If I'm not in the corner... See? The light medium kick's on the whip. Which is why most people, or smart people, do crouching medium kick. Whoops. Because it pulls, it actually pulls your opponent in. And because it's a multi-hit move, it's not really easy to push block. I'm not sure this attack is safe on block. Hold up. Yeah, it's not safe on block. However, you do the Riglet Spike at the right time. And your opponent presses a button, they'll get hit. And you can do a combo. Same goes for that, by the way. It's also very unsafe. You actually have to cancel it for that. Her other crouching normals is her crouching high kick, which has far range, and on a jumping opponent. Well, wait, I forgot she's walking. Oh, there's a ground bounce. There we go. Yeah. If they're not jumping, it's you can still get a combo. You does a lot of hits done. You just have to do stuff like that to her. No, that doesn't work. That works too. The other one is her sleep. In my opinion, Felia has the most useful sweep of, of the main cast. The other one being Peacock. Because both of their sweeps move them forward. It's, and they believe they keep momentum from their sweep. Well, I'm not sure. Well, Felia doesn't. But Peacock so does. But what's great about Felia's um, sweep is that it lowers her hitboxes. And you see her green hitboxes become close to the ground. Making it harder to hit her. The other use is that even though it's unsafe on block, on whiff and on block, you can cancel it into that, which has an invulnerable starter, being the DP and all. Now you can catch your opponent if they ever try to punish you. And if they, ch and if they manage to block them both, hold up. Do that, because it's as far as the build for the game is now. That is pretty safe. Although, note when the squiggly patch comes out, that I heard that this move will no longer be safe when she hits the ground. Because you notice she can pretty much block as soon as she touches the ground. But Mike Z intends on adding recovery frames to her. So that's unfortunate. For Leo players, I think it's a really good addition because this thing is abused too much. Because it can be. It's broken. You, you can't really punish it. And if you try, she can do that as soon as she touches the ground. But I don't have the right timing for that. I don't really play for you. Right. Her other attacks, her air ones, also have really good uses. Most of them. Her light kick. Her light kick's really fast. But the light punch could be good because it has a much bigger hitbox. Where you notice where the light kick whiffs, if you ever notice you're doing the combo or you're trying to start a combo on your opponent and you do this jumping light kick and it misses completely, that's your cue to be like, okay, start light punching. Because it will hit. It will hit. Her other one being her jumping medium punch, which is really good. 
It has multiple hits, making it hard to push block. And it's easy to confirm into a throw, because it does very little hit stun. Or you can go low. Low throw mix up right there for you. Rather jumping medium kick, it's not spectacular. It's only really good for combos. However, it's also really good for resets. But mm, trying to start something with it isn't recommended. For others, jumping high punch. Which is really good because like Parasol's jumping high punch or Pain Will's jumping medium punch, it puts a big hitbox like barrier in front of a barrier like hitbox in front of um Felia, making it really, really hard to touch her. It's good for runaway, it's good for pressuring. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen that before. And lastly, we're jumping high kick. This move destroys all her air momentum. You can super jump and then do that, make changing your timing before you hit the ground. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. See? Combine it with an air dash, it could be a mix up in itself. Or Special moves. Flea only has three. Similar to Street Fighter's own Ryu. She has three special moves. All the if you play Ryu and Street Fighter, you can already play as Felia. Or rather you can already do her special moves anyway. Unlike Ryu though, she can't really zone. Her projectile is done the same way. Four circle forward, punch. As you notice it doesn't cover that much space. It's really mainly only good for Block strings, or you know, getting the opponent off counter hit, or fishing for an attack. Just a moment. Because if you manage to hit your opponent, you can do that. Her other one, backwards fireball with the kick button, is her hairball. On the ground, this move serves very little purpose. However, in the air, it's amazing. Why? Because she can air dash cancel it. As soon as the air, air ball is finished, she can air dash and do any attack. Except when it's blocked. When it's blocked, she can't air dash immediately. See? Whereas, I can do like it instantly. No way. I, she blocks it. No, no instant air dash. Which takes a while. If you do her H1, which brings you back to the ground, you can just round dash. See? Right. Her other one being her DP, her Shoryuken, her updo, which has invulnerable startup. My recommendation, most people want to use the high punch version, because it goes very high, it does the most damage, which, you know, that's great and all, but I recommend using the light punch version. It doesn't go as high, but fully recovers from it much faster. And if you accidentally mess up on your inputs and get a riglet spike, if you mess up on your inputs and you use the high punch, you might accidentally get that. Which, if you're right next to your opponent, will completely miss. However, if you mess up on the light punch version, you can accidentally get that, which will hit your opponent. Special super moves or blockbusters. Now, 
They're doing the same way as their special moves, only with two attack buttons rather than just one. Core circle back two kicks, get you Gregor Samson. This move is really good for combo extension and for actually starting a combo too. Um, sure you can with two attack buttons, two punch buttons, get you Fenrir Drive. Has a vulnerable startup. And the great thing about this move is that it's really fast. I know it doesn't look that fast, but when the, the Super Flash appears, like when Faria's in that initial first pose right there, your opponent has to be blocking at that point in time. If they're not holding back at that point in time, it's already too late. And she will get them. Which is pretty awesome. Why don't I keep messing up on that? There we go. Yeah. Right. And her last one, her level 3, of course. Of course, it go back to punch buttons. It's a really amazing anti air. Not as fast as her Fenrir Drive. But a little less punishable, as it's pretty safe from a distance. However, on width and on block, your opponent was free enough to, you know, run over there, hit you, or they're right next to you, and it misses them where they block it. You're, you're open. <laughs> they can combo you. Right. I'm going to start talking about how you're supposed to get in with Polia. In a little bit, because I see that I have 16 minutes left. Or rather, a minute left. So, I guess I'll save that for the next video. And don't forget, Fenrir Drive.